to check out the weekend forecast. Hallie, is it going to be a good weekend to check out Winter Blast? Because it looks like a ton of fun. I, yeah. I want to go on the slide. I know it does look like a whole lot of fun. I, if you dress for it, we can do anything right here yes. in Michigan. Tomorrow is going to be very cold. We're looking at a little bit milder temperatures for Sunday. So you be the judge of when you want to go and have some fun. I will start today is cold, but at least we have some sunshine today. So drier weather. The wind advisory kicks off at 9 and goes until 8 a.m. So it's done by tomorrow morning. It'll be gusty tomorrow, breezy, but not the criteria for a wind advisory. But we're looking at 40 to 45 mile per hour gusts isolated up to 50. So that is overnight into tomorrow morning with an Arctic front that comes through kind of reinforcing the already cold air in place. Seven inches of snow reported in Gross Point, Livonia six and a half, five and a half in St. Clair, Beverly Hills, five inches. A lot of us kind of between that five and six inch margin do want to mention, of course, with the recent rain, the snow melts, the all that frozen stuff, so to speak. We do have, of course, the flood warning for the river raising at Monroe. This will likely last for even into next week, and we're looking at current stage above flood stage, almost 10 feet. So that is a problem, of course, near Monroe. So we're going to continue to watch that for you, but things are dry, getting a little break from the precip for now. We have some light snow on the way tonight, a coating to upwards of an inch possible, but 17 degrees in Pontiac, 18 downtown, 18 degrees in Mount Clemens and a west to southwest wind about 10 to 15 again increasing as we head into the late night at 9 10 o'clock and then continuing overnight. But our wind chills will stay likely 10 degrees or even colder throughout the day today. Single digit wind chills for tomorrow as well. The cold air continues to funnel in. We see a little bit of that at least a little warmth into tomorrow. So 40s around Minneapolis, Chicago. We're getting there and it looks like we'll jump to about 40 by the time we get to Sunday. So again, you choose which day looks better for the weekend to be outdoors. But here's our hour by hour forecast. Cold with a brisk breeze today. Light snow developing after 10 p.m. into tomorrow morning. I think a lot of us will stay under a half inch, but could see some isolated uh, three quarters to maybe an inch up toward the I-69 corridor. And that wind advisory starts again tonight until 8 a.m. Tomorrow, a few snow showers early. Single digit wind chills for your Saturday. It's going to be cold. We do recover a bit for Sunday. Dry, a bit milder, near 40 degrees. Even milder for Monday. We start to see the next opportunity for a winter system to come in. This one looks like it's going to come in on the warmer side. So by Monday night, the chance for rain and then as temperatures drop, that could certainly mix with some freezing rain by the time we get to Tuesday, Tuesday night. So we'll have to watch for that, of course, going into next week. But temperatures in the meantime, low 20s today, tomorrow, 40 start on Sunday, carry us through Tuesday and that transition into colder air by midweek. And we always know there's just a whole lot going on, of course, and as we dig out from the latest winter storm and now we have the wind advisory tonight, more snow on the way. We want to make sure you're prepared. So just grab your phone, open your camera and scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen. This way you can download and install the WXYZ app for access to our radar as well as weather, traffic alerts, school closings and so much more. We always want to make sure you're fully prepared for all of these changes. Stay with us. Seven more seven action news coming up after the break.